Hey, what's going on everyone? This is Harry Views back with another video and today I will show you guys six different ways in which you can clear cached files on your iPhone. So what is cached files and why you have to clear them? So basically cached files are accumulated data from apps. You can see right here, if we go to the iPhone storage, you will notice that we have apps here like Instagram, for example, it's almost six gigabytes. You will notice the app size is really small, 239. The others are documents and data. These are basically cached files and documents from the app. The cached files will be accumulated with time and of course take a ton of storage on your device. You will notice this, especially if you have a device with lower capacity in storage, it will take up a ton of space in no time at all. So not all cache files are of course bad because apps use them to actually load data faster, load stuff faster on your iPhone and don't have to re-download everything from the beginning when you're trying to load a, like a website or something like that. But of course, with time, there will be files that might never be used again, and they will still stay there on your storage and take up a ton of space. So let's go ahead and let me show you guys how you can actually clear files from your iPhone, cache files and free up a ton of storage. Now, the first way to do that would be, of course, by going to your settings and go to general. This is the easiest and most simple like way to do that. So you go to your storage right here under iPhone storage, you will have now the ability to actually like sort your apps here and show the size at the top, which means that the apps that are taking more space on your iPhone will be at the top right here. So again, if I go to an app, usually most like social media apps will take a ton of space. They will have a ton of like cache files on your device because of course you load pictures and videos all the time on them. So if I go to Instagram right here, again, you can see 5.5 gigs of cached files and documents. What you can do here to easily clear these cached files and free up a ton of space on your device is completely delete the app from your device. That way you will clear all the cache files and you can then reinstall the app, which will only be 239 megabytes. Of course, with time, this app will still accumulate this, this data and will probably reach at this point again, but in the time being probably for like a month or two or maybe even three months you will have a ton of free storage more when you of course have deleted all the data and until it comes to this size it will take quite some time of course for things like instagram or facebook you will have to do that delete the app and reinstall it to clear the cache files but then there are some apps that actually offer that feature within the apps like if you go to twitter or X, whatever you want to call it, and go right here, go to your settings and support, go here to settings and privacy, and then go under accessibility display and languages. If you go there, you will have data usage, and right here, you will be able to actually clear the cached files from your Twitter. So basically, you have media storage right there. You can clear the media storage right here, and then you have the web storage as well. You can also go ahead and clear the web storage and clear all web storage right there. So that's the easiest way to actually clear the cached files from Twitter. But you will be able to do that on other apps as well. So let's take a look at some other apps that offer this feature. And one of them is also TikTok. A lot of people use it. And of course it has the feature which lets you clear the cached files. So you simply go to settings and privacy and just scroll here and you will have free up space. And right here it will calculate how much cache files it has and also the downloads now the downloads might be like filters or different effects that you might have used tiktok will actually save those locally and you will have here a button to clear that and a button to clear the cache files as well so this is a really really easy way from tiktok to actually clear the cache files you will see everything here all the details how much space it's taking and of course with a click of the button you can get some more free storage on your iphone and still of course have the app working as it should the next one will be spotify i know this is a very popular app and a lot of people actually use Spotify. Now, the Spotify also offers this option for iOS users. You go to the settings of Spotify and you will have here a section for storage. Where's the storage right here? Click on that. And you can see right here, it shows you everything you need to know. So you will have other apps, how much space they're taking on your device. You will have the downloads, 
the songs that you have downloaded locally on your device on Spotify, and you will have the cached files right here. So you can see the cached files are actually at 2.4 gigs here for Spotify. So what it does, it basically allows to remove all the downloads if you just wanna remove them and then just listen to them online, or if you just wanna clear the cache files, you can do that right here. And you can see it says you can free up the storage by cleaning the cache, your downloads won't be removed. So you're only clearing the cache of Spotify and not removing the downloads by using the second button right here. Another popular app that does offer the ability to clear cache files is Snapchat. If you use Snapchat, you simply go to the settings and then here under privacy control, the first one will be clear data. So you go there and then at the bottom here, you will have clear cache. So you go right there and it basically gives you the option to clear the cache files from Snapchat. So you can see right here, it says all of your cache will be cleared and Snapchat will restart your memories backup and backups won't be deleted. So basically you're just clearing the cache and not deleting anything from your Snapchat. Another great way to clear up a ton of cached files and of course save a ton of storage on your iPhone is by uploading apps. Now this feature works by simply removing your apps from your device. Apps that you haven't used for a long time will be deleted automatically and of course, all of your data and documents that you need will be still saved on your device. Once you want to open the app, because it will still have the icon on your device, even though it's deleted, it will reinstall the app and you will have all of your documents there. But you can, of course, clear the cache and save a ton of space. You can do that simply by going to your settings, go under the app store settings and make sure you have enabled upload unused apps. Next up is system data. Now system data is also like files that have been cached from the system. Now the way this works is basically it doesn't have like a button where you can clear those files, but you can do some things. Now, first of all, if you go here and you go to iPhone storage and scroll all the way down, you will have iOS here. And then of course you will have system data. Now, based on how long you have been using your device, if it's a newer device or an older one, I had this iPhone for about a month now. So of course the system data won't be that large, but there are a few things you can do here. First of all, if you have an update downloaded to your device and not still installed, make sure you either remove that download or install it in your device, which is of course the best thing to do. And then another thing you can do is regularly reboot your device. Maybe once a week or so, reboot your iPhone and you will see that the system data will actually go down. So let's just try to reboot my device here. We're at 7.88. And as you can see right here, the device has been rebooted. Let's go now to general iPhone storage, scroll all the way down. You can see it's at 7.23. So we just saved around 500 megabytes there. Of course, those have been cleared here from the system files. If you have a ton of system files, like people will have around 20 or even 30 gigs of system files, make sure that you reboot your device regularly. And that should actually help a lot with actually decreasing the size of the system files on your device. And now we're moving to Safari. Of course, if you use Safari in your device, you will have a ton of like cache files, cookies and all that saved locally into your device, taking up a ton of space. So let's head on to Safari and we will have here the option to clear history and website data. If we tap right here, it will give us a few different options so we can clear the last hour today and yesterday and all the history of our device. So just like that, you can clear the history and I would suggest that you actually do this regularly in order just to remove a ton of different like cache files and maybe different cookies that you probably never use again, but of course are taking a ton of space on your iPhone. And for the last one, we're moving to Chrome, another browser that a lot of iPhone users use. And even if you don't use Chrome, you use another third party browser, you will most likely have, of course, this option to actually clear the cache files on that browser. So right here, we have the settings of Chrome and the way to actually clear these like cache files on Chrome, it's pretty easy, in my opinion, better than Safari. So right here under privacy and security, we will have clear browsing data. If we go here, we will have a a few different options so this is why i think it's better than safari because you don't have to actually clear the history of your device of your browser you can just clear the cache files so here we have the time range we can just go to all time here 
and right now we will have here a few options so we have the, the cached images and files and of course cookies and website data but we don't have to clear the history we will still have the history saved while clearing the cache files and of course this is the site data which is really amazing of course you tap this button and you're good to go so that's basically it for this video guys these are a few different ways which you can use to clear the cache files on your iphone running ios 17. hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure to leave a like of course subscribe for more and i'll see you on the next one